I went to um, look at the oceanic diet, people that live off the ocean. And for this, I ended up going to Borneo. Borneo is split into three countries, Brunei, Indonesia, Malaysia. I went to the Malaysian part, this part here in Bodhgaya Island. So I went and met with the Bajau, about one million Bajau split over all these countries I mentioned. And they really live off what they find in the ocean. Bit of refreshment to get you uh, in the mood. This is Tarumpit, you know, on his way to the office. Um, and so they live on stilt houses, mostly. And it's quite an, an incredible experience walking into one of these houses. There's the lapping, you know, sound of the water. People sometimes fish straight through the planks like this. There's water right, right below. But the real hardcore Bajau, they're called their Bajau Laut from the ocean, they live in boats, handmade boats called Lepa. Lepa, Lepa, or Lepa. And this is their life. This is where they give birth. This is where they cook. This is where they do everything. This is it. They live inside there. They sleep in there. They spend all their life on this, moving around. They are semi-nomadic, kind of. They go around islands, finding spot where they hunt, they fish, they gather food. And they cook in the back of the boat in this metal thing. Fire straight on the boat. I wouldn't do that, but you know, uh, it works. They sometimes cut out seaweed in small pieces, boil it in salty water, and eat it. There's a lot of collagen in it. It's really good for skin, apparently. And then when the tide gets low in the full moon period, they go and gather seashells, etc. They even find these little guys here, urchins. They collect a lot of urchins and eat the raw inside. I love these kind of stories of this kind of destination. Nothing can be prearranged. There's no way to reach out to these people. Uh, you just have to be lucky. And so you're on the lookout all the time for stuff. And so I'm going around on the boat in the morning, and we see this guy. And let me show you what he's doing. With his hand, he's going forward like this. He's got one foot out with just one fin. And he's scanning the bottom of the ocean, looking for food. And then soon enough, he got an uh, octopus. And then, you know, later on, he got stingrays. And a lot of effort is put into that again. Four, five, six hours at sea trying to get some food to bring back. There's a connection between the body and the food that feeds it and fed the body. And here again, you see that. You see the octopus is clinging onto to him, and he's got that close to him like that. I was trying. This was one, one thing I kept in mind on that story, to really get that connection, that intimacy with food. Food is something you eat that gets in your body, that makes you live. I mean, this is just incredibly powerful thing when you think about it. And so I meet with the brother from the guy that was hunting with, uh, put on his skinny jeans, and he's just so at ease in there, just amazing. <laughs> and uh, got this little fish, this little bad fish there. Okay. 